Okay, Vibhuji, let's proceed ahead with your uh, technical snap for fluid mechanics for DRD, right? Yes, sir. Uh, what do you understand by viscosity, Vibhuji? Viscosity is the property of fluid due to which it uh, uh, experiences a shear force when there is relative motion between two layers. Hmm. What is the significance of calculation of viscosity? Why do we do that? So due to viscosity only, the drag forces arises during flow and there is uh, loss of energy during the flow. So pressure forces, de pressure decreases and the flow retards. So during a flow, the, uh, uh, the viscosity is the main reason uh, for uh, this retardation and uh, more energy needs to be pumped, means pumping power needs to be calculated using this. Which equation do you use to calculate the loss due to viscosity? Newton's law of viscosity. Tau is equal to mu into velocity. This is not loss for loss. It's not used for other calculations. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. Aapka, to calculate the drag, you are saying? I'm saying how to calculate the loss. Energy Lo loss. Loss of, yeah. loss of energy or loss, something. Because of sir, Yes, sir. Momentum thickness we can use. Momentum thickness uh, from there we can calculate the amount of uh, drag is required. And into the velocity, we will get the power lost. Mm, okay. I will give you a pipe, a horizontal pipe. Okay. And if I give you two sections separated by distance x. Okay, sir. How do you calculate the you know loss of pressure head between these two sections? Pressure head loss will be calculated by the Darcy Wiesbach equation, which is uh, <coughs> P1 minus P2 by rho g is equal to FLV square by 2GD. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the Darcy equation you're using? Yes, sir. Mm. So, uh, suppose I give you a horizontal pipe and put manometer between these two sections. Okay. Manometric limb between these two sections. Okay, sir. So difference between the manometric limb head will give you what? Difference between manometric limb head, head will be giving us the friction head which is lost during the flow. Means mm -hmm. friction loss uh, due to friction, the amount of pressure head that is lost in the flow that will be uh, depicted by the manometric pressure difference. Mm -hmm. अच्छा एक वर्टिकल पाइप लो वर्टिकल पाइप लो और उसके दो सेक्शंस के ऊपर मैनोमीटर लगाओ उन दोनों सेक्शंस के ऊपर मैनोमीटर लगाओ ठीक है सर एंड शो मी हाउ यू विल पुट इट दैट हाउ यू विल इंस्टॉल दैट मैनोमीटर Sir, normally, sir, what you can you observe this? This vertical pipe is a little bit of 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 a of the fluid, firstly. Uh, in if general, the fluid is flowing from uh, lower to upside. If the fluid is full, flowing from lower to upside, then the pressure will be uh, Sir, we can't say anything because it will depend also on the kind, uh, potential head and the friction loss also. Hmm. Okay, sir. And if it is flowing from top to bottom? Sir, top to bottom, uh, here, uh, uh, top me to aapka, sir, 
सर मैं पिछले वाला गलत बोला हूँ क्योंकि आ, अगर नीचे से ऊपर फ्लो कर रहा है तो आ, नीचे प्रेशर ज्यादा होगा ऊपर प्रेशर कम होगा और ड्यू टू पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस आल्सो प्रेशर ऊपर कम होना चाहिए बिकॉज ऊपर हेड ज्यादा है नीचे हेड कम है पोटेंशियल हेड तो पिछले वाला केस होगा कि नीचे प्रेशर ज्यादा होगा ऊपर प्रेशर कम होगा लेकिन टॉप से नीचे फ्लो करेगा तो फिर दोनों केस हो सकता है मैं ये कंफर्म हूँ Hmm. Okay, now tell me what is what do you uh, understand by total energy line? Total energy line is the summation of three <coughs> energy heads, uh, which is the uh, pressure head, velocity head, and the potential head. This these three energies are shown by the total energy line, which uh, for a real fluid continuously decreases due to friction loss, and for ideal fluid it remains straight. Hmm. And what is hydraulic gradient line? Hydraulic gradient line uh, depicts us the pressure head and the potential head. Uh, <coughs> total energy line minus the kinematic head will give us the hydraulic gradient line. Hmm. It can rise also as what well as. What is the significance uh, of hydraulic gradient line? Significance of hydraulic gradient line is, sir, uh, using it we can. Uh, Using hydraulic gradient line, line we can understand. <coughs> can you use Bernoulli equation for real fluids? For Bernoulli equations can be used for analysis of the real fluid, or only for ideal. For real, <coughs> sir, for real fluid, fluid in the sense uh, for liquid we can use because liquids are mostly incompressible. But for uh, gases, uh, as the uh, for over there, incompressible condition will not be valid. So for gases, we will not be able to use. No, for liquids only. But for uh, real liquids, can you use? Yes, sir. We can uh, uh, inco um, incorporate the friction head loss into the Bernoulli equation and can use for uh, real fluids. Hmm. What are the other assumptions of uh, Bernoulli's equation? It should be steady. It should be vis non in viscous, uh, non viscous. Thirdly, it should be uh, incompressible. Hmm. And what are uh, what are what are the assumptions of Euler equation? Assumptions of Euler equation is that it should be steady and it should be in viscous. Sir, your microphone is uh, off. Just give me one second, Viprajit. Okay, sir. Yeah, Biprojit. <clears throat> boundary layer. Can you tell me the significance of boundary layer, Biprojit? Yes, sir. I wanted this one only because I am weak in this part. The significance of boundary layer is that <clears throat> in boundary layer we will be able to calculate the drag uh, forces which is required for the flow to calculate the power uh, mm -hmm. loss and thus pumping power we can calculate during a flow. Mm -hmm. Boundary layer. Uh... थिकनेस कैसे डिफाइन करते हैं डिस्प्लेसमेंट थिकनेस इज एक्चुअली द इज अ टूल टू मेजर द अमाउंट ऑफ मास्ट फोर दैट इज लॉस्ट 
during flow from boundary layer and it is uh, its mathematical formula is given by integration of 1 minus u by u infinity dy integration from 0 to delta that is 0 to boundary layer thickness hmm. Viprajit, uh, momentum thickness kya hota hai? momentum thickness <coughs> is another mathematical tool which is used very easily to calculate the amount of momentum that is lost uh, which gives us the amount of drag which of uh, which a flow is facing uh, uh, to calculate the amount of uh, pumping power that is required mm -hmm. it is mathematical formula is u by u infinity into 1 minus u by infinity into dy 0 to delta mm -hmm. okay let me give you the feedback now uh, viprajit viprajit drdu ke liye jo tumhare concepts chahiye na thode se kam hai abhi aapne padha hai uh, dr isme fluid mechanics लेकिन जिस वे में फ्लो होने चाहिए ना कंसेप्ट्स वो अभी डीआरडी के हिसाब से कम है दिस शुड फ्लो लाइक व्हेन यू से अबाउट व्हाट इज एनर्जी ग्रेडिएंट लाइन हाइड्रोलिक ग्रेडिएंट लाइन व्हाट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ दैट सो वो डेप्थ वाला जो रिक्वायरमेंट है वो कम है अभी तुम्हारा व्हाट आई एडवाइज इज लाइक कीप वाचिंग ऑल द मैराथंस अगेन एंड अगेन एंड स्नैप्स जो है उनको ज्यादा से ज्यादा करो एंड आस्क दिस क्वेश्चन दैट व्हाई यू आर नॉट इन पोजीशन टू आंसर इट लाइक व्हाट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ हाइड्रोलिक ग्रेडिएंट लाइन इट्स वेरी क्लियरली डिफाइंड इन दैट मैराथन so okay. why you are not in position to answer it those kind of things right and sir, how sir marathon that one i have observed last day only i gave you last day before yesterday after mm -hmm. that i watched the entire marathon today only i completed okay so hydraulic gradient line is mentioned somewhere there yes sir mentioned but significance i did not means uh, i did not i think i did not pay attention to that one nice but pay the attention usko suno dhyan se wo marathon aisa hai ki jo tum bar bar karoge tumhe nayi cheez seekhne ko milegi so start doing that right and sir, uh, yes sir tell me sir no these three four marathons are there subjects are there just revise them well huh? these subjects sir uh, this fluid machinery part because they are asking on pumps compressors and these things sir for that interview part uh, for example the performance curves uh, mm -hmm. so many performance curves are there and how what is the reason how can we improve efficiency mm -hmm. these types of practical questions are being asked we'll do that so we'll do that there are no practical question there theoretical questions only but we'll do these questions only once your level of this fluid mechanics is over this basic level then next level comes is this level only we'll discuss that also right and you discuss with dr atinder also or tell them that sir please ask me question from these topics fluid machinery yeah fluid machinery sir, part also sir from where to prepare these things means for my basics to be clear books only obviously you have to refer the books or maybe youtube may you can watch some and petel video or something because marathon mate is not there so maybe you can watch the books which you have gone through earlier or some you proper youtube uh, some videos of some professors right okay sir okay mm -hmm. okay thank you. Mm -hmm. yes thank you sir